okay so here only now we are uh, you know uh, talking about different satellites and uh, the kind of application it does so uh, for remote sensing there are uh, you know so many applications of remote sensing you all of you must know this uh, the defense in agriculture in forest even in construction fields like uh, recently in my company what we are doing this uh, it's not uh, for uh, you know indian region it's for dubai or somewhere uh, that we have the tower and uh, you know tower information we have and uh, what we want to do is that we want to uh, construct uh, some other kind of uh, uh structures around the tower so what we want to do is that whether um uh, we are uh, you know uh, creating any kind of uh, structure say residential structure and if you want to fit solar panel panel on it then whether the shadow of the tower falls in that area if it falls then it is not suitable for uh, installing solar panels like right? things so it's being used in construction it's being used in town planning and in so many commercial things because till now i think uh, mainly to, uh, you know remote sensing was being used for weather forecast for meteorological uh, applications or any kind of research work but now it's being commercializing very fast right so uh, there are uh, information of some satellites if you want to work if you want to download if you want to actually try your hand uh, on remote sensing so one is for satellite uh, you know land satellite or you can say sensors so very first satellite which was uh, you know launched for the particular application was landsat it was launched in 1972 and after that uh, there are you know many version of landsat came and uh, now we are using landsat 8 uh, satellite and landsat tm which is thematic map satellite also spot uh, series was there irs series uh, this is indian again indian remote sensing satellite series we call it right aster images sentinel images sentinel is again uh, you know a uh, very good satellite format because it gives mm. uh, optical data of 10 meter resolution so uh, for land use classification we use it very often okay and one common property of land satellite is that it can give a uh, high spatial resolution uh, land satellite can be can have you know around uh, 0.5 meter resolution also uh, then uh, marine observation satellite that was nimbus 7 uh, it was used first now it's not working anymore and uh, sea pipes and ocean sets and modis are being used so all the satellites are uh, using modis you can actually it it gives you uh, information of chlorophyll uh, uh, inside the ocean uh, then there are weather satellites uh, that was the first one which were being developed for any kind of civil application so um, weather satellites are mostly geostationary satellites okay so um, satellites can be of two types uh, one is geostationary and another is polar so uh, you have two poles right south pole north pole so if satellite is moving like this on the earth surface then it is polar satellites and if it rotates like this then we call it geostationary satellite okay so polar satellites are comparatively nearer to earth so whenever we uh, talk about polar satellites it uh, um, mainly give higher resolution so most of the land satellites are of higher resolution and these are polar satellites we have many geostationary satellites uh, which are weather satellites okay uh, and yeah as i told you it has the high temporal resolution so it should give at least one image a day or at least two images a day of the swath that the satellite is following okay geo is noa insat series which is again indian uh, modis is both uh, it can also use it can be used for weather, uh, weather applications uh, reset all the sat satellites are uh, you can say weather satellites Uh, yeah so i think this is really helpful uh, to you all if you want to work with satellites if you want to work on satellite images if you want to uh, you know try your hand on it then these are the links 
from where you can get the satellite data uh, freely available right uh, there are uh, many satellite uh, many satellites and for all data is not freely available so here you see bhuvan and mosdeq this both are uh, you know indian portals to uh, get your satellite data uh, downloaded and you can use it or you can directly have maps also of uh, you know temperature and such kind of maps are direct uh, directly available for you to download other than that earth explorer explorer then uh, sentinel hub uh, usgs simply i can say usgs has a, a, a huge data archive of us based satellite such as uh, landsat and modis so all these links you can use it uh, for data downloading and uh, you know uh, for uh, trying your hands on so uh, this is google earth right uh, if i don't have any special information if i want to prepare a data for which i can perform uh, gis analysis then i have uh, this platform i like there are many other platforms but for now we are taking example of google earth uh, okay so for now uh, what we are going to do is that we are going to make the data for further use so here you see this is the polygon data that we are going to make this is what taj hotel okay so first we are going to make a polygon okay okay my system actually shift doesn't work so we may cause some problem as well uh okay then i think i should go for point data preparation okay so if we don't want to show any area or anything we can simply place the landmark here this is my hotel i will give it a name say taj hotel okay now anything if i want to change style color anything i can do it for now we can uh, keep it just like that okay let's create one more uh, point uh, this regal cinema we can take right anything we can take okay let's write it properly mm -hmm. so now we have uh, this points mark in my google earth only now i want to perform some uh, you know some analysis i want to perform uh, some analysis in gis suppose i have uh, this point of uh, taj hotel and i want to find out in 10 km radius of taj hotel uh, what all features are there right so for that we have to take this data in a gis software Uh, all this uh, if you you know hear any unfamiliar name then don't worry we are going to learn it in gis portion uh, but like it will be easier for you if you will see this exercise once okay so uh, there are different data formats also that you uh, will be able to know let's save it in g drive outside only so this you observe the data format it's kml format right Uh, if you know programming little bit you will know this so uh, the data that we extract it will be saved in kml format so these are kml data sets right we have saved it this two points it has some location information of course because we we have taken it from google earth now this is uh, one software okay so this is qgis software uh, here what i'll do i will import those points that i have created in google earth okay so for qgis you can uh, import kml file but for any gis data whenever you have location information stored with it uh, we call it shape file okay when it's vector data we call it shape file so it has the extension of shp so uh, i can import the kml data but if i want to work further on the file you can see a point uh, you can see this point this one is there and another one is here right 
right? Two points you can see that we had created in Google Earth. Now we are getting it in QGIS. So basically, if you want to work further on this point, if you want to do some analysis or if you want to perform any use any of the GIS tool, then you have to first uh, save it in shape file format, right? So uh, here only you can have a, a option to uh, export it. So you can export this. Uh, particular KML file in easy shape file format because this is one accepted format in QGIS, right? Okay. So now let it be. We have this cinema point. Okay. Now what you also one thing you can do is that open Google Maps here. Also, this GS softwares are uh, comparatively heavy, so it will, you know, work slowly. Okay, it came. Nice. But it's showing that it's not working, so better we remove it and we move further to other GIS operation on the point. Now, what we can use are geo processing tools. First is buffer. So, uh, when you have, uh, you know, as I told you that we can uh, do such analysis such as uh, in the area, uh, see this is some cinema. So around the regal cinema, uh, I, I want to uh, build, uh, you know, some school or something. Then uh, my criteria is that, that I don't want to build it uh, in 10 kilometer radius around this cinema. Then what I'll do, is uh, I will simply uh, make a buffer around it. See this unit is in degree. So I will take it like 0 0.001. Okay. And we can uh, make a buffer in that area. So uh, if the particular uh, uh, region is falling in the, that buffered area, then we will not be able to use it. Then there are other uh, tools such as clipping or you can say uh, intersection. So if we have two shape file and if we want to find out that which shape file intersects uh, with the shape file I'm working with, then we can use such tools. Now, uh, simply see, I had created some data or you also can download this shape file thing. Uh, what, what you can see is uh, India. I apologize for this Kashmir uh, thing that happened because I was working on particular uh, state. So this data was available for me. Now I have this point, right? Now I want to find in which region is that point uh, fall in India. Okay, so first of all, there is one thing called projection. Uh, what you have to do is you have to uh, make the projection same for the layers, which you are using for your analysis. So the layer that I used, layer that I used here uh, for India shape file is in projected coordinate system. So first I'll have to uh reproject the other layer so that i can use it for the analysis okay now i have few tools which will okay you are uh, i'm uh, selecting the india shape file and then i'm selecting this cinema and i'll try to uh, find uh, in which area it intersects so this is this this is how it gives the output because it might not be intersecting properly if we make it bigger let's say i have this layer i am creating 100 meters of this okay so now this is the uh, 100 meter area around the cinema Okay, uh, if I'll take this layer up, you will see uh, this is the center is the cinema. 
and around which we have created 100 meter buffers now what i want to find out is that whether this thing intersects or not okay so it gives the intersection output because the entire circle is intersecting with the india shape file if we will uh, zoom into this we can see we cannot see because it's really really small uh, so for you i have to make it bigger okay and then we can add this layer so we can see the particular area is being intersected so like this only we can do uh, so many operations uh, on our special layers uh, such as difference if two layers are intersecting then we can uh, find the area uh, where uh, layers are not overlapping we are uh, we can uh, take union of two layers to merge it and to make it a single area okay so like that uh, we can uh, get the data from google earth 